Hi everyone, Miss Janine here, your grade 7 science teacher. For our today's science tutorial, we will discuss metals, nonmetals, and metalloids. Are you ready to learn with me? Let's start! Matter is classified into pure substance and mixture. Last time, we have discussed that pure substances are categorized into elements and compounds. In this video, we are going to discuss element which is furtherly classified into three, metals, nonmetals, and metalloids. The elements in the periodic table are arranged according to its type, whether it is a metal, a nonmetal, or a metalloid. Let us first start with metals. Metals are shiny and dense. They are also malleable and ductile, which means that they can be rolled, flattened, and pounded into thin sheets without breaking. They also have high melting and boiling point, and one of the most significant properties of metals is that they are good conductor of heat and electricity. Some examples of metals are copper, tin, and mercury. Copper is used in making electric cables and wires. Tin is used to coat other metals to prevent corrosion, such as in tin cans, which are made of tin-coated steel. One special type of metal is the mercury, since it is the only metallic element that is liquid at room temperature. Most metals are not just like that because they are usually hard solid at room temperature. Mercury is widely used in the production of paint and some various industrial and control instruments such as thermometers and thermostats. Let's move on with the properties of nonmetals. They are not lustrous or shiny. Nonmetals are brittle and easy to break. They also have low melting and boiling point, and unlike metals, they are poor conductor of heat and electricity. Examples of nonmetals are the following Sulfur, which is used in manufacturing drugs and fertilizers. Phosphorus is a nonmetal which is used in the manufacture of safety matches. It is also used in oil refining and production of gunpowder. Another example is chlorine, which is used in cleaning products including household bleach, which is chlorine dissolved in water. Lastly, we have metalloids. Metalloids have shared properties between metals and nonmetals. These are elements with the same chemical properties of nonmetals but exhibit physical properties of metals. They are more brittle than metals but are less brittle than nonmetals. Metalloids are also semiconductors or materials which have a conductivity between metals and nonmetals. Here are the examples of metalloids. First is silicon, which is used in the manufacture of computer chips in some gadgets such as laptops, smartphones, and desktop computers. One of the most explosive metalloids is boron, which is used in fireworks. It is green in color once it is burnt. Another example is antimony, which is used in making glass bottles. Again, here are the differences between a metal, nonmetal, and a metalloid. That's it! Let's have a quick recap. In this video, we've discussed the differences between the properties of a metal, a nonmetal, and a metalloid. Now, let's try answering a 5 item piece about our topic. You have a mini to answer. Good luck!
time's up. Let's check if your answers are correct. That's the end of our science tutorial. I hope that you've learned a lot and see you soon. Thank you for watching!